Hi, I'm Andy Edgerton, um, Relationship Management at Sennheis. Oh, no, wait, no, formally, I'm now back out on the road, <laughs> um, currently in the US with the Wombats. I'm doing monitors on this run. This is Pete Bartlett, who's in front of house, Hello. long time Sennheiser user. So we're going to do a little drum kit rundown. So starting with the kick drum, Pete, what's in here? Best mic in the world, the 901. Came into my life in 2005. And um, as I said earlier, I was so set on using it that I used to carry a spare one in my hand luggage just in case the mics didn't arrive. Because I could get away with everything, but I couldn't substitute that. It's just a great mic. And, um, and then the 902 on the outside, which is not as important. Just use that for a bit of air. Yeah, but the 901, ah. If you get the right size pillow, just get your pillow sitting nicely. Get the hole in the right place. We just had a bass drum head arrive with the hole totally in the wrong place. So there's, there's ructions backstage about that. But um, yeah, get it in the right place. And also, here's a little tip, the 901, the attack varies with the angle. So if you want a nice click at like 4 or 5k, you have it straight on. But if you want to lower the attack, you just spin it like 45 degrees and the attack drops down. Not a lot of people know that. Expert. <laughs> so then, yet yeah, onto the snare drum. I know we're not using snares at the top, but you can talk about it and why you use it. It's a Bayer 201 vocal mic from the 80s. Beautiful, fabulous, best one. And why do you angle it like that? Because well, we experiment, again, don't we? Again, the angle of the mic affects the amount of weight you get off the drum. So I like a bit of low mid off the snare to push into my yep. not very expensive compression. <laughs> and um, yeah, so if you're shallow, it really cracks, and if you're steep, you get more weight. Get more weight, because I guess you get in the underneath. I'm giving away all my secrets here. Go on. This is always a condenser underneath. 614, fabulous mic. Apparently massively underpriced. Uh, yeah, I think they made <laughs> Can I they, say that? Yeah, they shortened it from a 914. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you'll see yeah, a lot of money, a lot of money, There's a lot of money for money. Yeah, five, you've got five 614s on the kit and I love them, absolutely love them. But, condenser under the snare, only picking up the wires, none, yeah. of, that, none of that phase reverse flat 57 down there, none of that nonsense. Yeah. It's just 7, 8k upwards, yeah. just to get the detail on the number of wires. It's not very tidy, is it? But I, I would have made it tidier if I knew we had company. Well, it's, it's got to look real, hasn't it? Same on the hats. Yeah. The, the, these mics will do anything. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The, the, the attack and the detail on them is the thing, isn't it's it? Just, they just sound expensive. They sound yeah. good. Yeah. And then Tom's. Classic. Classic. 604s. Easy. Bulletproof. Yeah. If the drum sounds good, they'll say. I mean, I prefer 421s. Yeah. Because they are the best Tom mic yeah. ever. Apart from my AKG D190s. But, you know those old vocal mics, the right. D190s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah, great yeah, yeah. Tom mics. Yeah. But these these are great. These, these are just pretty practical. We don't want 421s. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Of, and you need a stand then, or you need a more clamp. It just makes it all a bit more untidy. Because we're trying, we only use two stands on the kit to try and keep it tidy. Yeah. So everything else is on LP floors. But everything's been around a bit. It's all very road yeah, yeah. It's got to be, you've got to have the best of both worlds, a tar in it, getting knocked around a lot, but also being good enough to get what you want. <laughs> we should have been tidy. We should have maybe tidied <laughs> up, yeah. Um, and again, under the right 614, we'll just mark that underneath again, just for aesthetic and practicality, really. We want to be better there, but it works, yeah. under, it works underneath as well. Yeah, I mean, I am worried when we get into bigger shows and the look becomes a thing that there's going to be a push from lights to get so these really down but I don't like I prefer yeah, looks, looks being above really we don't do super tidy mm. either do we we kind of make it look like well, don't, don't look over there Jesus no, no, don't. <laughs> she looked over there don't, don't, don't. <laughs> that's my responsibility um, and then well that's the kit really that's it we were talking about like oh cool we, we're using it that is a classic show on 56 yeah we did ask for a right angle jack in the kit when we ordered the XLRs because we were going to try a 945, but without a right angle jack, um, it just gets in his face and it's a little bit messy for him. So at the moment, we're just sat on that for now. Um, and we then we used to have where these fabulous lights are, oh, this yes. used to be backline. So we'd have a bass amp here, we'd have a guitar rig over there, but because we're all modern now, we've got these Kempers. So these are guitar bass modelers uh, and it just makes the stage super tidy. We've got rid of all the amps 
But if you're asking, we used to mic up with... We used, we used to have a, a guitar combo running with the bass. So we yep. had a Fender guitar combo and we used to have uh, two orange 2x12s and an orange 1x12, all on 609s. 609s, 609s, 609s yeah. on Z-bars. They sounded great. And what did we have? We had an M88 on the bass. Yeah, uh, we? we moved to far two one at the end, didn't oh, yeah. we? we? But yeah, we did have that's an all gone. That's all gone. So that's kind of it, really, for mics, apart from vocal mics. So we can go, and of we've got three, we have two for Matthew, um, 945s, we are going to try the, well, we did briefly try the 445 and the 435, the reason we like the 945 is that he's used to it, and he also comes off the mic a little bit, which would be a little bit too much for the 445, we'd probably lose a bit too much vocal, and, if, and the 435, because it's a wider Omni pickup, we get a little bit too much of the symbols down there, so the, the trusty 945s just what well, works just best. I've been using them for 12 years, I just, yeah. you, know, got, you get used to it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did have a, I did a festival, Montreux festival, all our Sennheiser mics didn't show up, so they just said, okay, use all the shorts. So I thought, that's a bit okay, put the shorts up. Different show. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Pete's a they huge... Don't show this to Shaw, they're going to No, be. huge Sennheiser fan. <laughs> I've got a little... Sure. Um, We've got a little effects pedal over here that just does like a weird messed up vocal. Pete calls it Atlantis, we call it high bats it's like a strobe <laughs> effect. And we just leave that on, that's got like a little optogate on it, so you can see as you get closer to that, it's that a little red light comes on, uh, that turns the mic on, and then when he's not singing in it, it turns it off. That means we don't have to faff about with mutes at the front, and then we can program different sounds in there. And I stole that from a band called the Maccabees that I used to work for. Also, these 945s take a lot of punishment. Yeah. I mean, Murph would regularly throw it on the floor, drop it, you know, and they, they stood up to yeah. a lot of punishment. Yeah, they have, yeah. It spits a lot, it's quite sweaty sometimes, just falls off, doesn't it? Dried out by the next day. And then, yeah, same for Todd, 945. Um, that's pretty much it for mics. Um, it's very small. Simple, simple little three piece. Isn't it? Yeah, nice and easy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.